Who got high and fought a sea lion with a pool noodle? Josh is from Orange what County. Where'd you get a pool? <laughs> Where'd you get a pool noodle from? Is I, your biggest question. I, I like... believe in animal rights. I believe animals have a right to sovereignty. Mm. I don't even eat honey. Fun fact, because I believe bees have made that. Bro, I seen you put honey they, in your oatmeal the other day. Shut the fuck up, bee. Can you just be serious for once? I swear Josh to God. Josh did that Any stuff to that video. video I know it. Made. He's from Orange County. I've only ever seen a sea lion in Orange County, so I think that you did it. There was this sea lion water polo player once that said, Welcome to the UFC, <laughs> bitch. And it smacked that from Man, Corona Del Mar's face. face. And he had to go back to wherever he was from. I love the OC. That was a good show. It was Chase, because uh, he's over here, the swimmer. He's talking about swimming with lions. Yeah, he's the one with the confidence in the water yeah, to like fight. Yeah, I can totally a, see him moving his little eggs like, come <laughs> here. He's, yeah, he doesn't have to be in kids. the water. He can fight. They can be on land. Oh, oh they can yeah, have I mean, in the octagon. No, you, you gotta know. be in the water. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, SeaWorld sounds like the place where they would just supply you with pool noodles and you could just smash. This person Definitely was also yeah. high when oh, this happened. That, it was Josh. That was Josh. Oh. What do you mean? Uh, bro, I don't do that drugs, is, okay? <laughs> that is yeah, fucked up. I'm a Yo, I saw you put drugs in your oatmeal I'm yesterday a... morning, okay? <laughs> Psilocybin milk, mushrooms okay? are a plant. They're not a drug. No, honey, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who do you think? I think it's Josh. He just seems like somebody who would actually fight an animal. Because Josh, who do you think? That he nah. stole his pizza or who, something. Whoever smells the Delta, it was V. Yeah. Jordan, who do you it think? It was Josh. It would never be V. Why would he vote for her? It's Josh. Chase, who do you think? It was Josh. Will the person who got high and fought a sea lion with a pool noodle please take a sip of their drink? Yeah, here's the thing. So I'm out of alcohol, but fuck that sea lion. Eat, right? the, the, rind. Eat, Eat the rind. Eat the rind. Eat the rind. What had happened was. Eat the zest. UC Santa Barbara, 2011, right? <laughs> Sign me here, first college apartment. Can I say that is a we little lived more on the corner. We lived lions. on the corner of Pescado and Del Playa Boulevard, big party location. We'd have random people come up and be like, hey, I'm a DJ. Can I DJ a party for you? And we'd be like, yeah, sure, let's get a bunch of ecstasy and figure this out. And so, you know, we were all rolling. We had a, a DJ there, and he was like, hey, can I throw a bananas and champagne party? And we're like, we don't know what that is. And he's like, have you heard of Dada Life? And we're like, no. And he's like, great news. So he shows up with 132 bananas and three cases of champagne, right? So we're at this party. Everyone's rolling. We got a bunch of blackout lights for all this. And then he starts throwing bananas into the crowd. So people are mashing bananas into our carpet. The next day we wake up and we're like, hey, we should probably smoke some pot and then blow up a kiddie pool from Kmart and go out in the open water so we can think this situation through and how to fix it. And my buddy Dave, he's got a big old wooden oar. I got a pool noodle. It's the only things that we had out there, seven dudes. And then we go out way too far into the open ocean and then our, our craft starts sinking, right? Because it was a kiddie pool from Kmart. And then we start floating through a child surf camp in Goleta, California, because we've gone a couple miles at this point. Uh, and so our, our boat's leaking. There's beer cans leaking out. Uh, we're trying to figure it out and swim back. And then we start hearing, or, 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 and there's a fucking sea lion there. And so my buddy Dave is trying to bash it with a paddle. I got a pool noodle and I'm like, fuck you, sea lion. You're not taking us with you, bro. I, you know, I believe in Jesus. And so I start hitting him with a pool noodle. Uh, and, and then we uh, eventually beat back the sea lion and ended up on shore. There were so many nouns in that I, that did not make sense to me. Banana and champagne and yeah. Dada life. <clears throat> like real bananas? I, I ate a whole grapefruit rind and I don't feel so good now. That was crazy. That was the least gay story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like as a gay person, I have never heard a story that was less gay than that. I could I not mean, relate like, to it wasn't one single thing in that story. I was like, well, he did, he did ecstasy. Like, he did I thought they were going to make out, but he said he'd be a I also felt like a rum yeah. ham was going to make its way into that story. Oh no, we, we actually, we literally did that. We literally soaked a ham and ramen brought it out into that Kmart kitchen. That sounds day. about right. That was so <laughs> weird. Okay, that is points for everyone except for Josh. Sorry. <laughs>